topic today is these mountains that we got, right? These mountains that we got. Are you tired of climbing the same old mountains? In the comments, use the microphone, use the camera, whatever you want to use. Yes or no, you tired of climbing the same old mountains? Whatever your mountain is, right? Are you tired of climbing that same old mountain? Now, if you're not tired of climbing your same old mountain, today ain't for you. You could do like uh, Inez did one week and say, yo, this ain't for me, I'm out. If you ain't tired of climbing your same mountain, this ain't for you. Now, I'm probably not going to get a lot of comments right here. I already know. Whatever your mountain is, write it in the comment. I'm going to write mine in the comment. My mountain is... relationship i don't know if i spelled that right i'm trying to type whatever joe's is his mouth he tired of climbing the same relationship mouth mine is the procrastination mouth mine is one of my favorite scriptures adrian's is overthinking right um one of my favorite scriptures is habakkuk 2 2 write the vision make it plain and i got a bad bad habit of trying to put everything right here speaking of Inez, she just joined us back look at god I, I brought up Inez's name. She jumped back in the chat. Look at God. I said that lady name. She here. What up, Inez? My boy Curtis here from Dallas. It's all good, right? All right. So y'all, the ones who joined, we're, we're talking about these right here. These joined right here. Uh, these mountains. Are you tired of climbing the same mountains as the topic today? If you can, you write in the chat, whatever your mountain is. It could be alcohol. It could be adultery. It could be it could be porn, it could be drugs, it could be sex, it could be, it could be overthinking, it could be procrastination, it could be relationship, whatever your mountain is, you're in a safe space right here to write it. If not, hold it to yourself, it's all good, you know what it is, right? No judgment, whatever, because we all got these joints. Whatever your joint is, we all got one, right? Yes, yes. Who on here don't have a mountain? Matter of fact, get give me your hiking gear. Give me that hiking gear if you ain't got no mountain, right? Somebody mountain might be smoking. Somebody mountain might just whatever it is, right? But if you if you tired of climbing it, here we go. Um, of course, we got scripture all through this joint. And I started with Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 1, right? If somebody can click over into the next tab and pull it up and drop it on the comments, so those of us that uh don't have the bible app on our phone or whatever uh building and maintaining meaningful relationships look at you a angelo and joe got the same joint relationships right side sidebar i'm gonna say this this ain't on my notes today but y'all know the older we get is the harder it is to, to develop a relationship the older we get because we don't let life get on us so much. And we be like, nope, that's a that's a red flag. Nope, I ain't dealing with that. Nope, he been my homeboy since we've been 10. Nope, me and her been rocking since the third grade, so I ain't letting you in. Nope, we just acquaintances. We ain't friends. As we get older, it's harder to do it, which is why I like this kind of space right here, which is why I like fellowship at church, which is why, you know, why I like uh, fraternal organizations, right? You find like-minded people to rock with, right? Thank you, Adrian. Romans 8 life through the spirit therefore by the way i'm not gonna dive into it but anytime the bible say therefore or wherefore they talking about something that happened right before right um uh, therefore now no condemnation to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit joel i'm about to preach joel i am about to preach <laughs> Nah, it's all good. Are you tired of climbing? Are y'all tired of pulling up to that same mountain is what I actually wrote on here, right? And this is why us good Christian folks, we always say, you know, we we in YouTube land now, right? Um, a lot of believers say, man, I got to die to the, you got to die to the flesh. You got to die to the flesh, right? Y'all can write that in the comment, drop that in the comment, die to the flesh. You know, they got to die to the flesh daily, right? To get over our mountains, I got some steps of how we can get over our mountains. Y'all add some steps. We come up with some notes. Boom, we got a game plan. I wrote some to start us off. Y'all feel free to use the microphone and throw your own in there. This is our devotion. It's not my devotion. Got me? Got me, right? My number one 
how do we die to the flesh? How do we die to the flesh? Or how do we um, stop climbing that same mountain of procrastination, of relationship issues, of, of porn, of drugs, of alcohol, or, or spending money, or gluttony, whatever our mountain is, right? Number one, I wrote, we have to bring our thoughts under control. Bring our thoughts. First, we got to pray about it, for sure, and call that thing out. Matter of fact, my number one is now my one number one A. Number one one is call that thing out. If you don't know what your mountain is, it's that thing that's keeping you from prospering. It's that thing that's killing your flesh every day. It's that thing that feel good to the flesh until you're over with and it don't feel good no more. Right? Until you want it again. Right? So the no, number one one, number one one, or bold number one, is call that thing out, whatever your mountain is. You know what I was doing? I was doing my Genesis on here. I'm glad Genesis is here. I was doing my 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 study this morning. I thought about Genesis when she always say uh, BC and what is it? The other one, Genesis. You say BC and something before before Christ, Genesis and after death. What what do you say, Genesis? Turn on your mic and you, you can say it. But. Uh, we got to call that thing out, right? Every battle is won or lost where? Anybody? Where all the battles start at? Where your mountains start at? Anybody? It's easy. Our battles start in the mind. All our battles start right in our mind. Before uh, BC, uh, before Christ Genesis or after Christ did it before she cuts you out. She cuts you out, right? Now she can change. She can get a little holy. Now she used godly words to cuss you out. <laughs> get beneath me. That means anyway. Uh, all right. Every battle is is won or lost right here. Every mountain you got, all of our mountains are right here, first and foremost. They're right here. Right? Um, so before you decide, this is how we climb that mountain and, and get past this mountain, because it's going to be more, right? This is what I want. Before we decide on any thought or task, right, ask yourself, Marcus, Curtis, Angelo, Adrian, Didi, Genesis, ask yourself if it leads us right to the, leads us right down the road, right to that mountain, Right? If it's alcohol, before you get to finding that bottle, ask yourself, whatever I'm thinking of in my brain, is it going to take me to the bottle? If it does, choose something else. Go the other way, right? If it's, if it's sexual sin, if it's, if it's gluttony, if it's, if it's relationship, if it's whatever it is, I know I'm preaching today, man. Eek. Tough, tough subjects, right? Talking about like sinful and fleshly and stuff like that. But whatever it is, it started right here, y'all. And we all got them. Here's what's crazy. We we all probably thinking about different things right now, but we all thinking about that joint, that mountain. Whatever that is, you like, yep, they got me. Right. And it started right here. Let them use you now. <laughs> Thank you, Curtis. I'm going to pass the collection plate in a minute. See where your heart at. See where your heart at. No, I just play. Um, but yeah, every battle starts right there in our brain, right there in our mind. So before, that's my number one, my number one A, I guess. Before we decide on any thought or task, yo, ask yourself, does that lead right to that mountain? If it does, man, let me go this way today. Right? Uh, I use the scripture, Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brothers and sisters. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, my good church word, think about those things. Pull up to that mountain. Pull up to the noble mountain, the right mountain, the pure mountain, the lovely mountain, right? First things first, we got to call that mountain out. Whatever that joint is you're thinking about right now, I dare you when we get off this live, go call that joint out. And then think about the opposite, right? Number two, I'm going to try to go fast because I want y'all to jump in. Uh, don't miss a day. Don't miss one day without calling that joint out. Maybe you didn't drink today, but call that mug out tomorrow. 
Maybe you didn't, Marcus, procrastinate today. Call that mug out tomorrow. Whatever your mountain is, insert mount, mount, uh, procrastination with your thing. And insert alcohol with your thing. You got that smoking problem, man. Maybe you ain't smoked today. Tomorrow, call that thing out, right? Every day. How we do that, calling that joint out, man, we can also, go, I wrote this, Google Bible uh, subjects, scriptures about your mountain. Google that joint. How to get past, da 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 how to stop procrastinating, right? How to put porn down, whatever your joint is, right? AKA, my good Christian church folks, meditate on the word, right? Squirrel says, you don't have, oh, do me a favor, it's a lot, Squirrel. Can you uh can you read that? Can you turn on the mic and read that for us? If not, it's right there. In the, it's right there in the chat. It's no pressure, y'all. It's right there in the chat. It's a lot to read, right? Mic ain't working. You must be on the Android. You on the Android, my boy? <laughs> you know y'all. See, I told y'all y'all mic don't work till eight o'clock on Monday morning. That's what that is. <laughs> Anyways, uh. Yeah, so don't miss a day. Don't miss a day without calling that joint out. Meditate on the word is what us good Christians say. I ain't gonna start. I ain't gonna start, Jack. I ain't gonna start. But yeah, Google subjects, man. If you ain't got your Bible, if you're not a Bible carrying person, Google that mug. How to stop procrastinating. How to stop adultery. How to stop. Meditate on the word, right? Practice. <laughs> I ain't gonna start with that, right? My scripture on that was Joshua 1 8, right? Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in that mug, right? When you start reading that joint, you're going to mess around and start living by it, right? You start, you start reading, man, you start, you ask yourself how to change the tire on, on YouTube or Google, you're going to mess around and learn how to do it. Same thing with our mountain. How to stop uh uh uh, you're gonna mess around and it's gonna get in your spirit. How to start hating on us, Android? Nope, that mountain got me. That's the one that's gonna win. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Lord. <laughs> I can't defeat that one. <laughs> I gotta finish, y'all. Don't, don't let me start. All right, number three, number three, number three. Yo, make prayer a habit. Y'all know I say it on the radio all the time much prayer, much power. Little prayer little power no prayer no power right make prayer a habit listen i was when i was writing this joint i was like man anybody ever tried to pray when they mad mm, that's some hard stuff to do you be biting your teeth going man girl, I love you girl. man girl you so good god you mad at them up right somebody argue with somebody and be like fellas this is a good one this is good for my fellas right here Next time she getting on y'all nerves or y'all arguing, be like, yo, let us pray. Oh, <laughs> kill up. Done, done though. Let us pray. And then go into one of them long five minute prayers. Oh, <laughs> have her on the floor, right? I'm, I'm joking, but I'm for real, right? Yeah, you try to, she said, Keisha said, nothing comes out when you try to pray when you're mad. Y'all, it's hard. It's hard to pull up to your mountain, right? Pray to keep from arguing. Yep, you're right on that. It's so hard, y'all, to pull up to your mountain of procrastination, of, 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 of smoking or drinking or sex or gluttony or whatever whatever the mountains is, relationship we had in here, overthinking we had in here. It's so hard to pull up to that mountain when we're praying about it, right? If I'm praying, Mark, stop procrastination and I'm, I'm meditating on that word, it's so hard to do it because I'm because I'm constantly trying to work past it. It's hard to pull up to that joint. I'll use sexual sins right here. It's so hard to do that when you saying, God, let me stop. And I'm looking up stuff on how to stop. It's so hard to fall into that. So pray about it every day. That's my number three, right? I use that scripture, uh, Ephesians 6, 12. For our struggle is not against, come on, good church people, flesh and blood, but against the darkness and principalities and rulers of it. Y'all know that scripture, right? Ephesians 6, 12. Uh, don't override the Holy Spirit. Usually he gives us a check in our spirit. Then it's our choice to continue on or turn. Ooh, that's good, Angelo. 
you got a suit on in your, your picture. You must be a good pastor, too. I got pastors on this mother. Y'all gonna be on recruiting me to your church. No good and well. I'm from them streets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Uh, number four, man, listen. Uh, not quite. Just what Joel say. Joel the priest. I say I'm not quite, too. So, hey, we all in the same boat. Number four, uh, don't overestimate yourself. Don't overestimate yourself. And when I was when I wrote that, I had to I had to write the definition of both underestimate and overestimate. Underestimate, y'all, real quick means to estimate something to be uh, smaller or less important, right? Don't underestimate your enemy. They not smaller. They not less important. They're the ones that get you. Don't, under, don't underestimate. I wrote in my notes. Don't overestimate yourself. Overestimate to estimate something better, larger, or more important than it really is, right? So what I meant by that, back to our mountains that we climbing here, these good mountains, you might think, I'm strong, I'm good, I can shake this off, I got it, I got it, it's me, it's me, dog. If I wanna put this bottle down, I can do it. Your willpower is not about to help you. Your willpower is inside of your flesh, and you already know what your flesh really want to do. Please. Like Ocho C going to say, child, please. But I want to say the other one, right? <laughs> right? Don't overestimate yourself. You not good, my boy. My girl, you are not. You can't just stop because you. I'm just going to say it, and I'm going to speak it, <laughs> and I'm just going to stop. Good luck. Holla at you Wednesday, right? Don't overestimate yourself, right? Uh, I actually wrote in here, you might think because you're good and you're strong, you can overcome our stuff as long as um, we in the know. As long as we're in the know of what that mountain does, we prone to mess up. We might mess that joint up. As long as you know what that weed will do for you, as long as you know what he or she going to do for you, as long as we know, remember I said in, in number one, man, that joint started right here. It's hard, like it's hard to avoid anything or pull up, it's hard not to climb that mountain again, as long as you in the know. So don't overestimate yourself. That kind of go with that number one, is that number one one, right? Call that thing out. Yo, this joint got me. This procrastination got me. Call that thing out, don't overestimate yourself. You can't just speak and say, I know it say speak to your mountains, right? But you're gonna have to meditate on that word. I actually used that, uh, well, let me say this part uh, I wrote. Watch what you look at, places you go, people you hanging out with. I got a story about that one, right? Um, anything that will be, for lack of a better word, temptation, right? Anything that's going to be temptation, yo, play it safe. If we calling that joint out, man, this, this bottle here, man, God, man, this honey, by the way, this honey for my tea. Honey for my tea, just let y'all know. Right, um, this joint got me. These androids got me. I'm gonna be on them. I gotta call that joint out, Marcus. Today, you will not, dear, oh Father God, please keep the androids out my mouth, Father God. <laughs> God, like, uh -uh. I'm over here healing cancer and and blessing people with jobs. You ask if that man. You and his Andrew, man. All right, Psalms 1, Psalm 1, uh, 1 and 2. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or, or sit in the company of markers, all of that good stuff. <laughs> I got to watch my back in the street, see? Y'all at me. All y'all Android people on here, that's that's going to be a survey to get on this Zoom. If you got an Android, I, you are the Holy Spirit. No, man. How many Androids on here? Y'all ain't going to let me. Let me finish. Number five, be accountable to somebody. You tired of pulling up to that mountain? I dare you to be accountable to somebody. I dare you to call somebody and be like, bro, I cannot stop drinking. Man, I got this porn addiction. Right? Yo, bro, here's the login to my joint. Yo, bro, like, yo, let me check in with you every day. 
Ed, not every, every day. Be accountable. Proverbs 27 and 17. That's a good scripture right there. Accountability is important. Thank you, y'all. Proverbs 27, 17. Iron sharpens. My good church folks, iron. So one person sharpens another. Then my little five little points I wrote in my what you call it, man. Then my little five little points. I love for y'all to drop point number six on the comment. Use the microphone. Let's get this thing popped. Anybody else, Joel? I know you got one. I know you got a point. Man, how we how we pull up on these mountains and and go around them and get over them and get past them for good? Anybody? Anybody want to talk about their mountain? Somebody else can pour into them about it. I, mine, y'all want to talk about mine? I got a problem procrastination. Anybody help me? Help me. Anybody else? Because some things, your thing might be something so easy for somebody else. That's why I'm saying that goes to that accountability part, right? Joe, Angelo, what is it about relationship? What is it? Speaking of relationships, sometimes, man, we get into the same relationship with different people over and over and over. One of these days, we got to be like, man, that joint is me. The problem is me. Ooh, Austin said for him is him is anger. Austin Powers, I love your name, by the way. Right? You got to pray about it. Thank you, Austin, for calling that joint out. You came on here late, but that was my number one. Call that thing out. Call that thing out. Procrastination, Jazz, me and you in the same boat. Call that thing out. Every battle is right here, Angelo. I'm, uh, Austin, I'm sorry. Right? Started with that Philippians 4 8. Second, Austin, don't miss a day and be like, yo, I got anger problems. Why I'm so mad? Third, third I'm going to add this for you, my guy. Somebody else can add to it. Think before you speak, pray out loud. It's hard to pray when you're angry. We just talked about that. It's hard to pray when you're angry. Or I'm sorry, it's hard to be angry when you're praying. Right? It's hard to talk to God and still be mad. After that, do some push-ups. You'll be all right. Or swole one of the two. <laughs> also going to come around and be like, thanks, Mark. I'm jacked now. <laughs> I'm swole in them up. Thank you, Mark. I've been pushing up every time I'm angry. Genesis said, my tone of voice and facial expressions. At a time, Genesis, I can help you right there. I said the same thing. My, I told my, my son, y'all heard me talk about it on here. My son would be like, dad, you smile. And he always say, smile, dad. And the other one would be like, dad, you look like you're mad. We was at church yesterday. I'm in the world. I'm worse. That boy said, hey, you angry? <laughs> I was like, it's here. No, I'm just thinking about some stuff, my son. Accountability. I told my kids, both of them, when I look like I'm mad, tell me. Because it start here. I could be sitting, we could be in the car and I could be thinking about this car note about to come out or something at work. And I'm, I'm angry inside, having a good day with the kids. Yo, if it's on my face, call me out. Right? Be quick to think and slow to speak. There you go, Austin. Nakisha poured into you right there. Genesis, tell hubby. Tell sister, cousin, best friend, yo, when my when my voice do what it do, when my face, you, you probably do that, that woman joint. Y'all know them faces, right? Yo, call me out on it. When I make that face, call me out on it. Give you the green light to do it. Anybody else? Microphone open. You can use the chat, you can use the mic. Hey, Marcus Angelo. Y'all come on the mic. Yeah, on, on the uh, you relationship. Up yeah, oh, on the mic still not work. Okay. How's that? Poor How's guy. that? Microphone tester. Use the chat, my boy. Mike. I can all hear right, All right. <laughs> we won't hear you. You got me? Okay, I'll, I'll keep on going. Uh, yeah, relationship wise, it's uh, Blackberry not working, huh? Oh, you can't hear him. <laughs> yeah. I can't hear him. Uh, yeah. You got me on black down. I can hear him too, Marcus. I can hear him now. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I was on the relationship piece, um, it's uh, what I don't do too well too often is 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 being uh, intentional. You know, that thing take a lot of work to build relationships, and uh, 
me, I, I call, I always kind of want to, don't, don't want to be too transparent, you know, for some stuff back in the past, but uh, what I have learned, you know, to be intentional and to um, uh, dig in and, and, and get deeper and uh, not be on the surface. Gotcha. So you just break it down, because I don't got you. Anybody you know, and, and, yeah, and uh, just to, instead of just saying, you know, hey, how you doing? How's the weather? Stuff like that. You know, kind of ask questions about, you know, how the person's doing. And just, just dig a little first, get dig a little more into their life, you know, about like them, it. and then vice versa, and then vice versa. I like it. Thank you. Yep. Dig in, man. Especially when we're being accountable to people, like he said. Yeah. Be or I use the word intentional. I, I use the word intentional. Anybody else? We got eight minutes. So, I guess you meant show, show more effort, show more effort is what she said. Yep. Anybody got a mountain that needs somebody to pour into? Or you got it yourself? I'm, I'm messing with you. We ain't got it ourselves. I'm messing with y'all. Like I said, I got my, mine's is procrastination, which is why I start writing everything down, overthinking. Ooh, matter of fact, Adrian, I, I talked about it on the air. Um, I saw a TED talk on overthinking. All right, you know the problem with overthinking means you got too many options. Pick one. I'll give you an example. When we go on, when we when we looking for an item on Amazon, my boy, we might we might be looking for some shoelaces. Man, they give us nine options. Man, you get the white joints with the joint. You get the ones that roll tight right here. You got the ones that can, and you overthink that mug. They shoelaces. Pick one. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me have you pick the cheap joint. <laughs> then you have to call. You got to go back next week anyway, because them gonna tell. But whatever. That's, that's another thing, right? Working and training, right? Yeah, so overthinking. Now, if you got choice in chicks now, uh, uh, never mind, that's nothing. <laughs> Whatever you're overthinking is, pick one, bro. I was on there last night, too many options. Yeah, see? Man, we, listen, y'all overthinking. The way we stop overthinking, man, is cut our options out. For real. Netflix got us like that, too. We sit there and scrub. Huh? We got way too many options. <laughs> Season one over here, got a minute. Season six over here. Ooh, this show come out. They even give you the date, tell you to put it in your phone, June. Now, July 22nd, this joint release. Yeah, too many options. To be honest, one of my issues is that specifically. I overthink everything, especially when it comes to family, girl, friends with an S, my boy. And uh, friends, which I guess uh, sprouts anger always. Hey, Austin. Oh my guy, Austin, thank you, sir. I've been there. I done had too many girlfriends, too. Trust me, Curtis can vouch for me. Curtis was right there beside me, and we both dodging at the same time. Curtis, am I lying? <laughs> All right. Let's get back to church here. Uh, but he know. We transparent on here, man. Ain't nobody perfect. When I was in college, man, <laughs> never mind. Ask me offline. <laughs> That's why y'all single. <laughs> Inez, I'm in my 40s now. I am not, I am not who I was in college. Curtis can vouch for that too. Oh, but Austin, how old are you? Because I hey, I've been there. Right? Pick one, my boy. Let me tell you right now. That move right there. Uh, we laughing about it, but I promise that ain't it. That ain't it. It's going, hey, you see these, look, we see these gray hands. You headed down that road, pick one. They pick one, my boy. She don't work. You got a chance to go with another. Don't do, don't do that. Hey, it's hard, okay? It is hard. We know you're 23. All the dudes out here do it like this. Yeah, 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 we know. <laughs> it ain't nothing new, my guy. Too many options. Pick one. Other than that, get ready for the headache. Go get you a bottle uh, of uh, ibuprofen because you're going to need it if you can't pick one. 
Friends, I'll say this for you, Austin. The ones that are leading you the right way, that's building with you, growing with you, praying with you, pointing you in the right direction, them the ones. The ones that's telling you to pull up to that mountain, them ain't the ones. That ain't that ain't algebra. Friends, right? And then with your anger issues, yeah, we done poured into that. 23 is a good age, bro. And if I can go in, that's that temptation. You right, Inez, that's that temptation. We've been there. Here's what's crazy. I'm so glad that I've been there because now I can talk about it. Because I... Austin, I could easily have been like, man, I've been in that word. I've been in the Holy Spirit. I've been saved my whole life. I don't know nothing about that. Thank God that I wouldn't, but I do. And God is the, a merciful God who gives second chances. So again, like this um, like this Zoom, find like-minded people that can pour into you, right? The one that's telling you to talk to all of them, unless y'all gonna grow together, look at Curtis and me, like unless you gonna grow together, that ain't your friend. <laughs> Curtis, I gotta mute your joint, bro. Cause you are oh, you muted. Good. Cause man. <laughs> All right, y'all. I ain't got three minutes left. Let's change the subject. Anything? Anybody got anything going on? Again, last week, man, I got so tired last week, man. I can't, I can't do it like I was 23. I was doing them VBS at midnight got here, and I was like, man. Y'all better find your devotional book for this morning. <laughs> I was thinking. Y'all got the Bible. Y'all don't need me, right? Having car trouble this morning. Uh, anybody want to pray over that for Inez? Car trouble? Joe, you still on here? Do me a favor, man. Pray for that for me. Matter of fact, Austin, can you turn on your mic real quick and pray for her car trouble for me? It ain't got to be nothing deep. Oh, uh, yeah, it's my first time, but uh, I have no problem doing it. You want to put the camera on? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you put the camera on. It's all good. Okay. Uh, if it's if it's uh, weak, don't don't blame me. I'm, this is my first one. All right. No, you <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you, get, get, you can get Inez to work safe. She's having trouble with her car. All of us are having trouble in life right now. Heavenly Father, I can, right now I'm asking that you help Inez with her car trouble so she can get wherever she needs to get, pick up if she has any kids, anything she needs to do, or maybe somebody just comes along that might help her fix the problem with her vehicle. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you help her with everything she needs today. And the Lord's mighty name, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Hey, Genesis got a podcast, man. Y'all look over in the chat real quick. Get a chance to click that link. Even if you don't listen to it, click that link and support her. Give her a click on her, her joints, man. Subscribe to that joint, even if you don't listen. Check out Jim's podcast and subscribe. Go on, hit that button, y'all. Waiting on road size. We got you covered, sis. It's a battery. Still looking for nine people who want to get in the travel business. How many people on here? Some of y'all, it's 10 of us, including him. They go to nine right there. Y'all ain't been off the block. Who ain't been off the block? Who ain't been down the street, want to go somewhere? Y'all better holler at Adrian, right? Didi, I need to see you soon, girl. We were talking about you Thursday. I had another meeting with another clothing company. I was bragging about you, girl. Y'all, she got some nice stuff. She got some nice stuff. Um, what else? Hey, Curtis Ty hit me the other day and said, yo, your boy Curtis be lit. I said, yeah, I can't follow his social media like that. Obviously, you was in the club. you must have posted something from the club. Hey, Curtis is a DJ, y'all. So he 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 works in that world. He don't live in that world. Wink. There's a difference. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we about to jump over here, man. Look, tomorrow morning, seven thirty. I'll be back on. Uh, holler at me if y'all ever want to leave. I'm on social media, Marcus Sullivan Live. All right. Uh, tomorrow, I'm about to go get in this gym, get and get like uh. Austin, swole, because <laughs> I'm angry. Later on, y'all. Take care.